the coolest of all vaccinations, of course, is the smallpox vaccine. What's exciting about the smallpox vaccine is its history. It would go all the way back to 1798, and yet it's still being used today in the, in the military. And we've learned so much about how the immune system can fight off different viruses from the study of this one vaccine, let alone the point that it's actually saved millions of lives uh, by eradicating a virus from the face of the earth. I've been working in this field for about 15 years and at OHSU for 10. We've now developed a way to inactivate viruses to make extremely safe and yet effective vaccines. So one of the typical ways to make an inactivated vaccine or a dead vaccine is to uh, kill it with formaldehyde, which is essentially embalming fluid. And although that works well, it kills the viruses, it actually you know, denatures them, it, it damages them. And so our approach actually uses hydrogen peroxide, which is great, it's a great antiseptic, it's great at killing viruses, uh, and yet it maintains the shape of the virus in such a way that uh, the immune response is, is very strong, very potent against it. We've now been able to, to show protection against a variety of different viruses. We've developed a new yellow fever vaccine, and we've been working on a West Nile virus vaccine, as well as even one against dengue hemorrhagic fever. We have a tendency to go towards the flavors. We are in the process of developing new vaccines that we want to carry straight to the clinic. And we've been very fortunate that we have a, a, an OHSU spin-off company. It's called Night Technologies Inc., uh, or NTI for short. Our goals are to continue to, to develop uh, new and better vaccines. And also to look at the mechanisms behind the vaccines. Why do they work? How do they work? I'm a strong vaccine advocate. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a major concern these days with the conspiracy theories. That it's been really challenging to try and bring people back to the basics, back to the science, and getting people to get their kids vaccinated. I know people that are very, very bright, but they're also very concerned parents. Uh, OHSU has really a fantastic uh, research environment, and the collaboration between different departments has been really, I think, quite unique. And by being able to collaborate across fields, uh, you know, with the, the vaccine development, the Vaccine Gene Therapy Institute, the, the molecular microbiology and immunology department, uh, as well as the dermatology department, we we're able to combine resources and expertise and get a chance to really ask some intriguing questions uh, about medical science. Portland's just a wonderful place to, to be and to work. Uh, it's, it's kind of a hidden treasure here, especially in the summers because they're beautiful. The rain's a little rough in the winter, but that's when I get a lot of riding done.